everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm here today because I am really frustrated right now. Um, recently near my store, near my suburb, they've actually updated a Target store that we have here in Australia. And it looks really high end. And when I first saw it happening, um, I was really worried that they might end up charging. Something was going to go wrong. I actually mentioned to one of my friends, um, Nicole. Um, that I'm worried that they're going to up the prices pretty soon because it looks really too high end. It looks too, 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 I don't know. I've just felt that they put too much time, too much effort. They even put a cafe in. I totally I love the idea of a cafe. My problem now is, is their stock. They have reduced their stock. So, it, everything looks awesome, everything looks fabulous, everything looks shiny and brand new and looks like high end, it looks like a Myers, but they don't have as much room, they don't have the two um, story thingies or even the three story thingies for a Myers. they've only got one floor, which means the stock has been reduced. They have a beautiful counters full of makeup, absolutely love it, they've cut back on their stock. I'm annoyed because I rang them up and I've complained about it. The store has told me that it's not up to them, it's head office. Rang up head office and not only did they tell me there's nothing we can do about it, all we can do is um, send in an email to the store, which then makes me go, but it's not the store that decided to cut back on the products there. It was actually head office. Then why the hell are you head office sending the email back to the store when the store has already told me that it's head office? So here I am going in a loop right now, alright? That's the first thing. Second thing, she put me on hold, she's put me back on and she's told me that this is the first store that they've done the renovations to and they plan to do it to all of targets. Which means the which means that if we don't start complaining now about the fact that we do not have as much choices now in our beauty products, in our clothes, in our fashion, etc., then we're going to be having to look for everything again online. We already have problems in Australia in trying to find fashion and beauty. We don't have Urban Decay, there's a Sephora coming here soon to Sydney, but even then we still, you know, people in, uh, here in Victoria, people in Queensland, etc. will still have to be putting um, orders online instead of being able to see the physical thing, right? Um, mind you, that's what they told me. They said, oh, but we do have an online tailor which you can grab your products from. Um, not all sizes 14, not all sizes 16, not all sizes 12 are all the same. They're all different. Some have shearing, some don't have shearing. So if I do not, if I cannot try it on myself, if I cannot physically, you know, grab like my chichi and swatch it or if I can't pick up my NYX, you know, grab it, open it up and swatch it on my hand, how do I know that it's going to, you know, go for me? Because most of the time what you see on the screen isn't what you get in real life. So, um, I'm complaining because the thing that's worrying me is the fact that they told me that this is a trial to see if they're going to do it for the rest of Target. But they didn't tell anyone about that. So not only are they at the moment losing money at that store, at the moment, if I want to go, because I'm actually wanting to get some um, NYX um, lip, uh, matte lip glosses, mind you, uh, butter lip glosses, mind you, I've just been told um, over the phone by Target where I, li where I li live nearby, they only have the butter lip glosses, they don't have the mat mattifying ones, they don't have, they've only got six shades of the butter lip glosses. Only six. NYX has so many different colours, why only six? What the heck? Like, I can't understand what's going on. Why are they reducing their products? Is it because they only want us to go online? I have no idea. But it's already really hard for us Australians to go ahead and buy makeup products already that we have to go onto eBay, Amazon, etc. just to buy or go and get, you know, a US shipping place, right? To now find out that Target, one of, you know, the places that sells a, a few different products that we can't get elsewhere is now reducing their stock even more. Not only in their makeup product, but in their fashion. So I reckon we should start complaining and telling Target what we want. 
before they go ahead and change the rest of Victoria. Right now, I'll need to drive up half an hour from where I live, half an hour to the nearest Target that would be able to sell me the Mattified um, NYX um, Butter Glosses and all the range that they originally had over here in this store. If I had known about this before, I would have already, you know, made a YouTube channel about this. I would have already kicked a fast. So, what are your thoughts? Do you think reducing your, um, your stock in your nearby Target is going to help you guys out a lot better to be able to choose your stuff? Are you adventurous and would like to try the new stuff but won't be able to because of the reduced stuff? You know, what, what, what do you guys think? Because when I've gone in there, they have no options for, like in the past, to be able to put limited edition stuff into the store. So then they won't be able to have, you know, um, stock for Christmas. They're not going to be able to have, you know, packets, you know, or if they are, they're only going to have a very few limited amount of it. So what do you guys think about this? That we now are being forced to go online or to travel further away from home than to get what we needed. I already had trouble trying to get Too Faced and all that stuff because mine doesn't provide them over here at this side of the... The, the place so I have to go all the way half an hour to my local um, Mecca store slash Maya half an hour or so away from me so why do I now have to travel as well for Target all the way over there just so I can get a cheaper brand cosmetic that they no longer provide over here what are your thoughts about this guys you know um I, I'm, I'm very passionate about this only because you know um, I, I myself like really weird colours. I like the dark purples and blacks and lipsticks and all that stuff, which is now not being provided at this target. Funny thing is, I know about 60% of the population here, about 50-60% of the population over here, we're goths. Like, I'm not a goth. I don't claim myself to be a goth, but I like wearing goth makeup. I love wearing goth stuff. The problem with me is I cannot afford to be a proper goth proper goth you know phys physically I can't show myself as a goth because I can't really afford it it's really expensive right because as again we have to go online and get our white you know foundation we have to go and get our black lipsticks we've got to get our really good you know stuff stuff online most of the time so what are your thoughts about this you know I know there's going to be a few people who are going to be royally pissed off that they won't be able to get their colors I wanted to go ahead and get my NYX Copenhagen and um, Transylvania lip butter, uh, butter gloss lippies but unfortunately I can't come over here and get them because shock horror we don't, they don't only have reds and pinks that's the uh, nude sorry nudes pinks and reds um, that's okay when you do want to buy reds and pinks and stuff because I actually went the other day to buy the red lips, lippies because I didn't have, I've actually found out I had no red lipsticks in my collection. That's like, I guess that would be like a normal person who would turn around and say, I realised in my collection that I had heaps of reds but I didn't have any purples. That's how I am. I've got heaps of purples, heaps of pinks, heaps of different other colours. But I had no red, so I went in and had a look at the collection. And I and that's as well why I asked them, what's going on? You only got like six butter glosses. Like, what's going on? You know, are you gonna bring any more in, etc. And they're like, oh no, we had to reduce the uh, um the space. Like, even though it's really like really set up, like they've got tables. And there's not enough space to put all the lippies on. So it looks awesome, it looks like a high-end brand kind of place, but there's nowhere to put the products. There's only a few products out now. So what do, what do you guys think about all this? What, you know, do you think that's okay? That, you know, online is the, the thing that's going to be for our future? Or should we stand up and say, no, we've had enough. We don't want online anymore. Because, you know, what if I didn't like this red, you know? There was a few reds that I, I tried out that I didn't like and I swatched. What if I thought that that was the red that I liked and I didn't like this red? And when it came in, I didn't like it from online. So what do you guys think about this? Am I just being silly? Am I just, you know, going over the top? Um, please let me know what you guys think. Because I already, as I said before, I already think we already have enough trouble, as it is, as Australians, to get products. Um, and seeing that I'm ranting about, you know, 
um, people that, you know, stores and stuff. I'll actually tell you a really quick story. I actually also went to Priceline the other day and I asked them, do you, you know, do you guys have any lip primers? Any, you know, lip preps or anything that with that sort? Um, I got told, oh, I don't know much about the makeup here. I don't know if we have it. So, have you actually tried online? Um, what kind of place is this? If you are trying to sell beauty stuff and, you know, beauty products, shouldn't you know your product? Um, come on. I don't understand how people can get a job in these places, right, and not be passionate about their stuff. Why can't we have people who, you know, are passionate about beauty and know, you know, what lip prep is? Because they're like, I don't know what a lip prep is. What? You don't know what a lip prep is? Do you even know what a primer is, people? Like, seriously, you know, I've gone a few times to Priceline and I've gone, hey, you know, do you, you know, blah, this question about beauty product, blah. And they're like, oh, I don't know, maybe have a look online or just have a look around and see what you like. Really? Seriously, people, seriously, where the heck do you find these people to work for you who are the beauty gurus of the store? Come on, see, I'm, I'm, around. I'm on a rampage. What do you guys think as well about, you know, hiring people that have no idea what they're doing in their job and when people ask them, they go, oh yeah, have a look online. Have a look on YouTube, have a look online. You know, YouTube isn't the begin, the end all of everything, all right? I love YouTube, don't get me wrong. I love the tutorials, I love everything, but shouldn't it be the people who are being paid at the store's job to know these things? So what do you guys think? Do you think that, nah, it shouldn't bother, we should already know what we want and go in and get it and leave? Or should we be able to pull an assistant aside, ask them questions and then already know the answer to? Um, so, write your comments down the bottom, tell me if you think I'm going crazy or not. This is the first time I've ever really had a rant about stores. Let me know what you guys think. Alright, thank you and have a good night. Bye.